Hello, this is Virginia C. McCoy of Making Art with Virginia. Today we're preparing to do a fox drawing, but I'm going to go through my supplies first. I have lots and lots of supplies. Try to, I'm going to try to keep it to just what I'm using this time. Willow charcoal. In my last video, I said that it was vine charcoal, but it's willow charcoal, and I believe they're about the same. Vine may be a little softer, but this is pretty soft, and it's easily blended with the fingers. We have all different sizes, small, medium, and large. I just use the mediums. These are the two I'm working on. So whenever you touch charcoal, you get it everywhere. Okay, that's a supply. Paper towels to keep things from getting out of control. I have charcoal pencils. This is soft, this is generals, this is medium, this is pit. I have never used these yet. I have three of them. I just have been using these. They're harder than the willow charcoal. They're not as messy but they're not as easy to blend. They're darker, so when you're doing your initial sketch, your underpainting, whatever you want to call it, use the willow or the vine, and then you can blend it around, erase it, you know, shape it. And then when it's time for details, time to get dark, time to get finished, use the pencils. That's what I do anyway. And then there's blending stumps, which is not always a good idea to use, but I do use them sometimes. I like to use my fingers mostly. And then there's white charcoal pencils. I'm using several of these, Generals. They're not really charcoal. I don't know what they are, but I think they may be kaolin mixed with some kind of binder. But anyway, they're, they go well with charcoal graphite. These are retractable erasers, a thick one, and a thin one, and they're plastic, and they leave crumbs. I hate that about them, but I love that I can get into little spots with these. Then I have to work at getting the crumbs off the paper with either a retractable eraser, I mean a blender, or a kneaded eraser. I love the kneaded eraser. And you can get in some tight spots with this because you can mold it and shape it. But sometimes these babies work better. There's a little dot there, and then you can, if you've got a straight line you need to do, you can make a little pancake, run along the line, or you can just make a big wad, erase, but it gets dirty quickly. And then you just knead it, and it gets cleaner, but eventually it won't get clean, and then you have to throw it away. And open up a new one. I like the little ones, so that I can just use the whole thing. The big ones, I don't like to use a whole big, big one. Anyway, that's those. Then we have a brush for futile attempts at getting rid of eraser crumbs, but mostly to dust off charcoal dust, which kind of makes a mess too. And then my trusty 18 inch plastic ruler. I love this thing for measuring the paper and scissors for cutting the paper and tape for taping the paper down. And I have these charcoal sticks. They're medium and soft. I've never used them. I may use them. I keep them around just in case I want to use them. Then we've got paper. Paper. I love paper. We have lots of paper here. But there's more paper in the world than I know anything about. So we'll just look at three today. And I don't know for sure which one I'm going to use, but I think I do. Anyway, this is regular drawing paper. It's a smooth paper. 70 pound 
It says it's suitable for final drawings, fine surface, erases cleanly, blends smoothly. Yes, it does blend smoothly because it is very smooth. It is white. It's not a, a bright, bright white, but it is white. It's not, not cream color like this next one. I don't know. You need texture. This is Strathmore charcoal paper, very textured. It says natural white. It is 64 pound. It's kind of thin. And I would call it cream color. They say natural white. But something I just discovered that I didn't know before was that it's very textured on the one side and much smoother on the other side. I didn't know that. I've always used the texture surface thinking that was it, but um, I'm going to try the smooth. I think I'll be using this for our fox picture. And then we have one of my favorite papers, Canson Etons paper. comes in various colors, all different kinds of colors, but this particular pad is grays. I like grays. I like other colors too, but I really like grays. This is very textured on one side and a little slightly textured on the other side. I always pretty much use the smooth side. Another supply is an apron to keep you from making a big mess of all your clothing, which I'll admit that an apron is necessary, especially for me, but I 50% of the time I don't remember it and I've got oil paint and all kinds of stuff all over most of my clothing. Although most people can't see it, I know it's there. But it's better to use an apron. You can get it all messy and it doesn't matter. In fact, I kind of like my messy apron. It's a badge of honor. <laughs>